Hello, this is Mark from Cliff's Vac and So. Today I'm demonstrating threading the Necky NC 204D top thread from spool to needle. In my setup, I'm using an external thread stand so I can use extra large spools of thread. In your case, you will most likely be using the more common smaller spools. You will place your spool on the spool pin Lock it in place with the appropriate size spool holder. There are two sizes of spool holders depending on whether you have the skinny spools or the larger diameter spools. After you install your spool, turn on your power switch on and you'll find it on the right side of the machine where the power cord plugs in. After turning it on, raise the needle to its highest position by pressing the button with the picture of of the end of a needle along with the up and down indicator. You may need to press it twice if it is already in its highest position. After the thread is in place, pull the thread to the left and through the upper thread guide. If my camera doesn't show it clear enough, there is a good illustration on page 11 of the user manual. After the upper thread guide, continue left and pull around the finger sticking up through the pretension spring on the left of the finger. Then pull down, being sure you get the threads through the tension disc. Continue down the opening, and then left and immediately back up. When you get to the top, pull the thread to the left through the slotted eye of the thread lifter, then back down. through the two thread guides near the needle. To thread the needle, lower the presser foot with the lifter which is underneath the top left side of the machine. Lower the needle threader with the lever and put the thread around the hook pin. The needle will automatically turn into position when you pull it down. The pin goes into the, the needle eye and you move the thread in front of the needle and make sure it catches the pin that sticks out the needle eye. Hold the thread loosely and to the back while you move the lever into its upright position. The thread will come through the needle eye and you'll then pull it all the way through when your top thread is ready to sew.